casting a vote to choose the next prime minister. In Albania, it's a task usually shrouded in dispute. This year, it's proving to be no different. There have already been accusations of corruption in the lead-up to the elections, and that's a worry for international observers monitoring the process. I expect the best for Albania and its people to achieve the results that citizens want, like integration in the European Union. The current Prime Minister and leader of the Democratic Party, Sali Berisha, is seeking a third consecutive term. He's facing competition from the socialists led by Edi Rama, who is also a former mayor of Tirana. And the rivalry between them has been anything but polite. In reality, both men have been making similar promises to voters. Both parties have said they will make economic reforms, and both want Albania in the European Union. But membership of the EU is a distant prospect. For decades, Albania has had to deal with high levels of corruption, a factor that's made it one of Europe's poorest countries. The EU says the only step in the right direction would be a fair electoral process. It will define if we are a democracy or we are not a democracy. We had a very high level of nepotism, and uh, corruption is basically the main problem in this country. You can't have an economic growth and you can't have development with a corrupted system. And that will be the challenge for whoever wins the election. Unemployment is rising and the public deficit is growing. Albanians are fed up with politicians who say much but do little, leaving them with no option but to leave. Already a third of the population lives and works abroad. And as things stand, many more would like to follow. Sonia Gallego, Al Jazeera, Tirana.